Welcome back to January. As you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to talk about today why Robert Crace is the best crime novelist writing today. And so, just a little bit of a backstory, very little. I actually own every book that Robert Crace has published, except for just the most, very most recent one, which I will, I will have at some point. And so, suffice it to say that I am definitely biased, of course, like everybody. But mysteries and crime novels, that's kind of been my forte for pretty much all of my, my life in terms of just reading-wise. And so I can tell you, just again, very little backstory. The first time that I can recall going to Barnes & Noble and like just browsing the shelves and trying to come up with uh, something to buy, I purchased the book by Robert B. Parker and that led me on a journey to Jesse Stone and then also later on to Spencer. Love them both, but Robert B. Parker just not quite, not quite on the same page as Robert Chris. Now, over the, over the years, I've read a lot of mystery, as I mentioned. That's, that's really been my forte. Now, recently, I think I've been a little bit more diverse in my reading. So other genres, other authors that I wasn't familiar with, and just outside of like the whole detective story. Now, with that being said, though, I've read so many crime novels that of all the books that I own, it's got to be about between 80 to 85 percent all mystery and most of those are going to be crime novels in terms of detective stories or police procedurals you know those in that like detective like cardboard genre and that's going to include the super heavyweights like james patterson uh, michael connelly sue grafton and i could go on and on but there's quite a few lee child that i've read and obviously i haven't read everybody um, hopefully this year I'm going to be reading Stuart Woods for the first time. I'll be reading John Grisham for the first time, and and others. But man, Robert Crace continues to impress, and let me tell you why. So Robert Crace has been now publishing for a little bit more than thirty years. I think his very first novel was first published in eighty seven, nineteen eighty seven, I believe. I could be a little bit off there, but it's going to be right around there. So. You know, he's looking in the 30, 33, 34 year range now of, of writing. Most recently, his most recent book was published in 2019, obviously. And the thing that he does is that over three decades plus, consistently gives just great, great, great work. And what I mean is, when he first, when he first started the series, and if you're not familiar with Robert Christ, his main series, his hallmark, what he's known for, it's Elvis Cole and Joe Peck. He's been, he was their very first, um, they, they were his first novel. So The Monkey Drink of his first book was Elvis Cole and Joe Peck. And throughout the years, it's been them too. And he just continues to, over 30 plus years now, but continues to show new layers of their relationship. And so again, if you're not familiar, Elvis Cole is, He's super um, laid back, he's, he's comedic, he's funny, but at the end of the day, he gets the job done. Joe Pike is the polar opposite. He's very quiet. He doesn't actually laugh, he, his mouth twitches, that's all, it doesn't, he doesn't laugh. He almost always has his, glass, his sunglasses on. He's uh, more muscular, he's just very, very like serious all the time. Doesn't really give you anything in terms of his emotion or how he's feeling. But the two of them, they are like this, and they are so, so good together. But in 2020, I read Robert Chris nine times. That's insane for me. I never read anybody that much in one year. But I read him nine times, and over and over and over again, his stories, even though, yes, they're detective stories, they are mysteries, you know, Elvis or Joe Pike is hired by somebody to do something for them, to find somebody figure out what's going on, you know, something, whatever it is that's going on, that's what they're hired for. But over and over and over again, he just shows new layers of them, of them too. And it's, when you think of that amount of time, you know, 30 plus years, like, you would think, okay, I, I pretty much know what I'm going to get. 
And at this point, all that I know that I'm going to get is that Robert Grace consistently is going to be producing a great story. That's what I know. But when it comes to what new layer is he going to show me for Elvis and Joe, I have no idea. In your head, you would think that you already know them so much from over the years of reading. But we don't. And it's just remarkable how well he does this. And I will say, it helps. And I could be wrong on this. I guess we could always ask him. Robert, if you're watching, you can tell us. But I think he doesn't age him. Similar to like Sue Grafton, she didn't age Kinsey Malone. So I don't, I don't think they age in real time like some other authors. So, because uh, I, I don't see them slowing down even though they've been doing this for 30 years now. But Robert Grace just consistently is going to show us the power of this relationship between his two main characters. And the thing is, he also has standalones. So he has Carol Starkey's um, standalone, Demolition Angel. He has um, Suspect. He has a two-minute rule. I, I've read all those three, and they're all great. But Elvis and Joe, that's where he lives. That's where he's at. And overall, just shows that even, when you, even though you're in the crime genre, even if you're a crime novelist, per se, you can add so many layers to that and still write a great crime novel. And so that's all I have for you today. Robert Crace, as I mentioned, one of my favorite authors for a really, really long time. And in 2020, just cemented himself in my eyes as the best crime novelist I'm writing today. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it's somebody different? And if you think it's James Patterson, don't you dare say anything to me. I'll link to my James Patterson video here in a second. But let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next time.